friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Nishita. I would love for you guys to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. In today's video, I'm going to do swatches and review of the new Morphe lipsticks. They came out with, you know, traditional lipsticks that come with a bullet and they released 15 colors. Five of them are cream finish, five of them are, you know, normal matte finish and five of them are extremely matte. So the cream finish lipsticks are called cream and the matte ones are called matte whereas the extreme matte are called mega matte. So I got like all 15 of them. In today's video I'm gonna do swatches and review uh, different formulas for you guys. So yeah, let's start off with the swatches. swatches so I'm gonna categorize them and you know review uh, each formula but before I get into that I'm gonna talk a little bit about the packaging I really love the outer packaging it's you know it's really sleek and it has a slanted edge and the bullet has a slanted edge too uh, you know which makes it a little bit easier uh, to line your lips so you don't necessarily need a lip liner with these lipsticks I mean at least the uh, formula that is in cream I mean, I like the packaging, but the one biggest con with the packaging is that you wouldn't know what color this is unless you open it up and see the bullet. So that's like one major con for me personally. I, I wouldn't know what lipstick this is unless I open it. The outer packaging has the color, but to be honest, I'm not going to hold on to the outer packaging. So I wish there was a way that would tell you like what color this is when you look at the lipstick. Let's talk about the cream formula a little bit. Uh, they are really creamy, they glide on really smooth. You have to go over, you know, a couple of times to get an even application, but they don't go on patchy. So that's a good thing about the formula, but they're not very long lasting. Uh, I wore it to work the other day and it was gone uh, in like one hour. I wish 
it would you know stay on for at least three to four hours i mean it's a cream lipstick they're not gonna last as long but at least it should you know stay for at least like you know two to three hours so and that's one biggest con and none of the colors were really appealing to me so for me personally i would say you know pass the cream formula so let's move on to matte formula out of all the three formulas matte formula is my favorite uh, but to be honest i mean there were good colors but none of them like you know i wasn't blown away by any of the colors i mean i couldn't you know look at one color and say wow this is my jam this is the color that i go for none of them were like that i mean i liked a few colors the formula on the matte is better than the formula on the cream uh, but to be honest they're not the best lipsticks i've ever tried i mean not the best matte lipsticks i've ever tried so let's talk about the super matte formula i mean the color range is nice there are you know nice reds and orange that complement my skin tone really well but the formula i am not a big fan of because the lipstick itself is very rigid i mean when you apply it it doesn't glide on smooth you have to tug and pull at your lips you know which is not something that i want to do and i mean you get a nice opaque application but you have to you know tug and pull at your lips that's the only way you can get a nice application so i tried to use a lip balm underneath thinking you know that would make the application easier but they don't don't go on over a lip balm I mean they don't apply to your lips it's like a lip balm you know forms a barrier and the lipstick doesn't you know apply to your lips I mean I use my lip balm the smith lip balm that I use with all of my other lipsticks that works but with this formula the lipstick just wouldn't apply when I have a lip balm underneath I mean it's like a you know a chicken and egg problem if your lips are dry you have to pull and tug at them if you apply a lip balm underneath you can't get the application so that's really weird i personally do not like the formula on any of these i mean the matte ones are good not the super matte ones but the normal matte ones are good but i've tried better matte lipsticks a uh, nix you know makes really good bullet matte lipsticks and then maybelline has really good bullet lipsticks i mean there are much better options out there at the drug store uh so i personally wouldn't recommend uh, any of these lipsticks because i don't like the formula on them and even the colors are not that unique or pretty or something that i don't already have uh you know none of them were special if you know what i mean so that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i really hope the swatches were helpful let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these lipsticks and if you like them or not i would love to know your thoughts also let me know what other product reviews you want to see on my channel Uh thank you so much for watching this one. Uh please give this video a thumbs up if you like the swatches and my review. And yeah, hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.